Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you guys and I haven't hauled in a really, really long time. So it's definitely time for a haul. This is like a beauty pampering collective haul. So I went to stores like Lush, Victoria's Secret, Sephora, and I also had to get like two little cute things that I saw in the window at PacSun that I was like, okay, I definitely want those. But I also want to say that I just got back from the hair salon. I know a lot of you guys on like all my videos tell me to go blonde and especially on Instagram, you guys are all about the blonde. So I'm here to tell you that I am back in the process of going lighter. This is going to be gradual. Last time I did it in a day and I killed my hair and then I missed my brown hair so I went back. So now I'm gonna do it gradually. And second, I have a cold sore on my lip right here because I was sick last week and I guess cold sores happen when you get sick. So I did my best to cover it up with liquid lipstick. This is Serenity by Drug Cosmetics and Collab with Manny MUA. I tried my best and I also put concealer on it but if you guys see like a bump here or if the side of my lip is bigger than this side, it's because it literally made my lips swell. So this upper lip is bigger than this other upper lip, so whatever, let's get on to the haul. I think that I'm first going to start off with Lush because I never buy stuff from Lush, like literally ever. I go in Lush, I have one thing that I love, and then I walk out of the store and don't really look at anything else because I feel like Lush is just bath bombs. I normally never look in Lush, but today my mom and I were like, I need retail therapy, like I want to go spend all of my money. So my mom and I did a lap around Lush and we got a few products. The first thing that we got is Daddy-O shampoo. That is so cute. This is a purple shampoo and I got this because obviously I'm starting to go blonder. So I want to keep this as light as I can and toning it with the purple shampoo it does that. I got the baby size so I could see if I liked it. Then I also got the Cosmetic Warrior Fresh Face Mask. My mom and I swear our lives on this mask. Like it seriously gives you a facelift. And I think I've raved about it in a ton of videos and it's also their cheapest one which is amazing. Side note, it smells really, really bad. So don't smell it and not get it because of the smell. It just smells so bad but it works more than you could ever imagine a face mask working. Like it's incredible. Next up, I got the salted coconut hand scrub and I've just been obsessed, like obsessed anything coconut lately. Coconut oil, co coconut oil, coconut hand scrub, coconut shampoo, conditioner is what I'm using right now. Coconut water, coconut, Everything, just literally my whole life I feel like right now is coconut. So I saw this and I was like, I just have to smell it. So I smelled it and I was like, okay, okay, I feel it. Lush also had all their Christmas sets out and that is so cute. I'm definitely gonna buy some for a gift guide video that's coming up soon. Be on the lookout for that. They were so cute. They had a lot of festive Christmas stuff out. So I got the Santa's Lip Scrub. Cola flavored sugary scrub for a sweet polished pout. And I just liked it because it said Santa on it. And it has like cute little things in it. I don't know. It looks really like interesting. It looks like a candy cane kind of. Not really, but it like whatever. Christmas, okay? Last thing, I honestly bought this because of the name. I forget what it is. It's a shampoo bar and it's Honey, I Washed My Hair. So funny because one of my favorite movies when I was a kid was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I think that is so funny and this is Honey, I Washed My Hair. It smells really, really good. I was with my mom and I was like, oh my God, mom, smell this, because I liked the name. I was like, I picked it up and smelled it. I was like, mom, smell this. She's like, mm, we should get this for dad. I was like, okay. So this is actually going to my dad. That is my Lush goodies. Let's do Sephora next, because who doesn't love a good Sephora haul? They have so much freaking first off boring um this mitt broke and i've been starting to self tan more because i'm realizing how pale i am and i'm also against tanning beds i used to go in tanning beds but every time i wanted them i was like okay i don't like this and now um i'm really against them for a reason so i'm like self tan all the way but my saint tropez mitt broke and i had to tan with my hands 
so they're pretty orange and I was in Sephora and I was like all right I'm gonna get this so it's just a mint I think it's like 650 and this just helps keep your hands not orange and it just helps with an even tan too something that I'm super super stoked about getting is the Becca shimmering skin perfector press palette champagne glow Jaclyn Hill, okay? If you guys know me, which you do, you know that A, I love Jaclyn Hill, and B, I don't have champagne, champagne pop, which is crazy because I absolutely hate ordering makeup online. I don't trust it. I feel like it's gonna crack on the way, so I never order makeup online. And Champagne Pop was always available in Sephora, so every time I went to Sephora, it was sold out. Today, it wasn't sold out, but Champagne Pop is right next to this palette. This palette on the Becca display was sold out. And I was like, oh, I kind of wanted that palette, whatever. So I picked up the Champagne Pop, $38. I was like, yes, I'm finally getting this. I'm so excited. Then I walked over to the, like, the little grab and go section that draws you in and literally like is a black hole and you just get sucked into it. Yeah, I went there. And right next to it was the Christmas display and it had a bunch of gift sets on it. I was like, oh, I'll browse around this. This is cute, you know, whatever. Lo and behold, on this little gift set thing is a stack of, of these babies just lined up. And I'm like, I thought they were sold out. You know, I thought they were gone. All this. No, they're right there. So if you guys are in Sephora and you really want this palette and it's sold out on the back of display, look around the store because a lot of times they hide palettes somewhere so that not all their stock sells out. So really look around because this was a full stack of them. There were probably 10 palettes sitting there and it, no one touched it because no one knew that they were there, but like the whole entire back of display was sold out. Everything else was there except for Champagne Pop and her palette. So it's clear that people wanted her stuff. So go look around the store because I'm sure it's in your store somewhere else. This palette is really shocking me because this palette is $34 and it comes with three highlighters. I'm going to show it to you guys. Granted, they are smaller sized highlighters, but you get Champagne Pop, Pearl, and Blushed Copper for $4 less than just Champagne Pop. So I think that's a really, 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 really good deal. Look how beautiful. I can't believe I have it. Oh my God. It is beautiful. I am so excited. I'm definitely going to use copper. This one as an eyeshadow, like for sure. Oh my God. Oh my god. Finally, the last thing that I got at Sephora. You guys always tell me how dirty my beauty blender is, but here's the thing, guys. I got the white beauty blender, and when you use it a lot with foundation, no matter how many times you clean it, it gets stained. And my beauty blender, I clean it after every time, but like, I get it. It's stained, it looks gross. So my mom was like, you should get a new one. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So Sephora's actually selling Oh my god, I thought I lost one. Sephora is actually selling a set right now of two full-size beauty blenders, a baby beauty blender, and a cleanser. So I picked this up because I was going to get the baby beauty blender because I think it's so cute. How could you literally not get the baby beauty blender? Ugh, nothing feels better than a new beauty blender. Nice and pink. Got myself a black one. I'm so excited to hold the baby one. Oh. Nothing makes me happier than cute baby things. I just corrupted it. To be honest, I don't see the purpose of this, so I'm glad I didn't buy just these because I was going to because they're so stinking cute. How can you not? But, like, I honest to God, like, I don't see the purpose of them. Um, I think they're almost too small to be practical, but I do see people will, like, take this to blend out their um, eyebrows when they carve them. Or like, I guess I could have blended out this little blemish with it. So, I'll let you guys know. I honestly don't think I'll use it very much, but it's so cute. How could you not have it? Like, oh my god. I went to Victoria's Secret. Um, I've never really been one that's like so white girl when it comes to Victoria's Secret. But lately, I don't know what has gotten into me, but my white girl has taken over. I crave going into Victoria's Secret. Like, I live, breathe, eat, sleep Victoria's Secret lately, and I, I don't know what changed this cause of heart, cause of change, 
what changed was cause of something. With that phrase, I don't know why this happened to me. I don't know what I should show and what I shouldn't show, but I know that I am gonna show this. This is the Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion Fragrance Mist. I got this because, like I said, I've just been obsessed with all things coconut. Mm, and it just smells so good. It's like, it's a nice balance of like, vanilla, coconut, and just like a girl. Like it just smells like a girl, which is really nice. And like, you know those girls that like walk by and you just like, oh, they smell good. It's like this, like this is like, girl walks by and smells good in a bottle. This is literally what it's like. When I was getting my hair done, I went shopping before I got my hair done. When I got my hair done, I was um, on Kylie Jenner's app and I was like looking at the life stuff and she did like a travel essentials and she mentioned this and I was like, Crazy, so Kylie Jenner uses this too, fun fact. That's not why I got it, I found out after, but just wanted to throw that out there because everyone says I try to be like Kylie when I don't. I literally don't know what I should show. I'm just gonna listen to my conscience and say don't show any bras because I got bras and panties. Oh, they also gave me something because I bought more than $75 worth of stuff. Oh, this is unnecessary. I usually hate the bags, hate the sets because I just think that they're kind of tacky and not really cute, but um, the girl was like, oh yeah, you get a free hat and scarf. And I was like, okay. Oh, maybe I'd wear it. I don't know. I think the jewels are kind of tacky. I don't know. I've been trying to get into like sororities and stuff, even though I haven't gotten into colleges yet. Um, except me, sororities. <laughs> Your girl went to pack sun, and my mom and I walked past ugh, the window. We saw this scarf that I've been wanting, and we decided that I, I just had to. It's this big blanket scarf and I see all these girls always wearing them and they style them so well and I'm like I should learn but it's like literally a blanket that you use as a scarf I'm over here there we go it's like I'll show you it's big enough to be a blanket like this is the scarf that I just bought okay it's legit a blanket yeah you feel okay so it's a blanket maybe I have to like YouTube how to wear this scarf. How, how would I do this? Yeah, I'll wear mine just like this. <laughs> Whatever, I got this. Okay, I'm really excited about it. Don't crush my spirit. And then I also got this, which I wanted one of these headpieces, headband things for like a really long time now. Again, I've been really white lately. These are cute, right? Like it kind of looks like a sweatband right now, but that's okay, like I'll figure it out. Don't worry guys. So that's all for this haul. Really hope you guys all enjoyed it. It was kind of a mess, but I mean like you need a little bit of mess in your life, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna stop talking. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and um, I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.